Hey guys, what's going on? This is Aaron Linson, and I want to show you something uh, that's really cool. I'm going to show you the Cubro XL. We just give you a brief demonstration of it. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for it, um, or at least not a demo of it, but have been wondering about it. And I kind of want to give you a look into what it is and how it works. Um, so this is going to be put up on Facebook and YouTube. So if you follow me on either of those platforms, you're golden and you'll see this. Um, it's something that has changed my life in particular. And if you're looking for it for a student, you're wondering about it for yourself as a working professional, or you're just a voc rehab person and you're wondering what it is. Why is this important and why is it better? In my opinion, in my opinion than some of the other Broda space out there in the market, this video will show you what it's all about and some of the cool features. Now, let's get into it. So let's dive into the amazing product known as the Cubro XL. Now what makes this de device different than any other barrel display? Well, what do you see that's different? For people that can't see, this is a 40 cell barrel display with basically your Q computer function keys with a barrel display attached. What does that mean? That means that you have all your functions of your standard keyboard, insert, home, in, page up, page down, all your function keys, your F1 through F12, your escape, two control, two alts, one window key and an application key, as well as a function key. Shift, tab, and a couple other buttons to switch on the fly with uh, multiple devices and your arrow keys, page up, page down, uh, um, up, down, left, right, and they are in the reverse T order. Then below that you have 40 serial bird display. Nice, crisp, responsive, lovable, awesome bird display. Love this bird display. Now what, the, what does this mean for you as the user? Well, a lot of things. It means you can control your entire computer with this one device, which I have done, and I do. When I take my laptop, um, when I use my laptop, this is the only device that I use, period. Because it's that powerful. Oh, good, so how powerful is it? Well, if I hit the, Epic, if I hit the Windows key, I'm running any video with this, you can run JAWS, but be aware that if you have, if you do ha run JAWS, you will have to do a um, T chord with the inner key to get this into typing mode, which allows you to type with it because they put their overlay to move by headings and other elements on a page first. I found that annoying, and to me, JAWS doesn't do anything different than NVDA does. So I've stuck with NVDA. So, okay, great. But this device also has onboard translation. That means that I can type anything within the 40 cell character limit even beyond that. And it will recognize it. And it will allow me, so if I type word is stupid, because word is sometimes stupid and make a mistake like I just did and put one S instead of two S S T U P I D. It has put that in grade two braille and I will put you guys down here to see that. Now it will stay there and not move. Until I press the enter key or the space bar. Now, obviously, that's not, not what I'm looking for, and I know that's not it. So I just hit Control and A to highlight that. And as you can tell, it's highlighted here on the computer computer screen. And now I'm going to press the space uh, the backspace key. Now it's deleted. 
that's one powerful thing that you can do. You can type entire things on this device. Addresses, I'll show you. I'm just gonna type in Google and press enter. That's all I have to do. I could even just type in goo, G-O-O. Windows is smart enough to know that uh, that's probably Google Chrome and the only three words that end in that. Those beginning, at least for right now. Press enter. Now it brings me to my home, my home web page. I can hit Alt D. Now it has the address bar highlighted. I'm going to press backspace to delete that. And let's go to, ah, let's go to this. Oops. Sourcecon.com. And what I did is I put, yeah, I put an N there instead of an M, so I backspaced, delete, delete that, and put the M there. Now again, it won't move, it won't do anything, nothing is on the address bar that I know of, because I deleted it, and I will press space, that will get translated onto the address bar. Now, the cool thing about that is you can type, and if you make a mistake, so let's say, delete that. Uh, let's go where? Let's go to There we go, LinkedIn. Now, if I make a mistake, and I know it's not a com, let's say it's not a dot com, let's just say it's dot org. I can change that, you know, well, wait a minute. Well, I know it's actually, I know it's dot com, right? So I change that on device and made that change. And now, if there's anything that is on there that I need to change I can't but I know it's right so I'm going to press spacebar or I'm going to try to press spacebar press spacebar it's there now, there's LinkedIn. And it becomes even more powerful within Hello. word applications Hello. such as Hello. 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 Or Hello. Word. Now let's say I made a mistake and let's just say this is cool. So I type this is cool. I'll show you guys for the people that can see. And this was all done in translation on the device. So I typed in grade two and it turned out as alpha numeric characters on the computer from grade two translation, which in my opinion is the one reason to get the device. Um, so if there's something say I wanted to do the weird thing of put K instead of C. Now I can backspace, C. take out that C, and just put in a K, press space because it doesn't know that, space. and delete that space. So now this is cool what is with a K with cool instead of a C. And this is something that's really neat because you can go in, edit stuff, take out the space that you have to use to allow that translation to work and it, it saves a lot of time. And the other cool thing is you can control whole programs. So I'm hit, hit the L key, brings up to the menu, gives me the um, menu. I can, like I said before, start window. I can get out of that. 
I can also, if I had uh, multiple applications, I could hit Alt-Tab. And I only have one, so it's going to bring me just to that. And I can also manipulate text. So if I didn't want that, I could hit Control-A to get rid of it. But I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to go back to the end. Now, if I wanted to... Um, Go back to that end. Okay, my cursor is there. Space. And hit that space, delete that space, and let's just say cool. I wanted to space. delete this. I can hit control shift, it's left it. arrow is selected. Space. Now I can hit space, space. space. delete that space. other space. And cool. this is cool. And I just want to put something there because. Cool cat is awesome. And let's just change that K hey. back to C. Hey. Now, this cat is awesome is what I put. And so this allows for a lot of text manipulation as you can tell. Cool and I can actually just hey. delete that with the delete key. It allows for a lot of text manipulation and just some really awesome awesome just computer manipulation here and i just hit alt f4 to clear that application that application has now been cleared it's something that has not been possible or has been very daunting with traditional braille displays and this braille display and keyboard combination takes it to the next level it's very very thin it's even thinner outside of the case, but I dare not take it outside of the case. Um, it's a very awesome device. Now, if you want to not do any of the keyboard stuff and you want to navigate on uh, internet using um, screen reader hotkeys, you just turn off hybrid mode, which is just the um, mode key or the pairing. Yeah, the pairing key, and it goes off, turn it off and on um, as you need to. And so it's something that allows you the flexibility to do what you need to do on a computer just with one device. And it's something that I think everybody should look into because, I mean, just look at how and how awesome this thing is. This is huge. It's even big, bigger in person than it is on camera. And it's just a really awesome device that is for professionals and for, for students. And I can see a lot of students getting a lot of good use out of it and a lot of professionals like myself as well so i encourage you to go check it out and to um, see if this is the display that's right for you I encourage you to give it time because it's something new it's something very new but it can be um something that you can get used to really 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 quickly so i encourage you to go look at it and i hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.